Welcome to week one of the NFL preseason, where the rookies of today hope to become the stars of tomorrow. It's the Dreadnoughts and the Antlers, and it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the South American country of Argentina and its capital city, Buenos Aires. Today, it's the preseason opener for these two teams, and it should be a good one, as it'll be the Dreadnoughts of Virginia Beach taking on the Antlers of Buenos Aires. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and we finally made it, partner, through the winter, through the spring, now into the summer, and football finally back. And during that time off, we all cherish our vacation time, but admit it, you're the same as me. When you were working out, when you were doing things, you thought about football, didn't you? And you couldn't wait to be back up here again. Charles and I have been looking forward to this one all week. And off we go from Argentina. And he returns this to the 22. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. Leading them out, the last active player remaining from the 05 draft and a name that dominates headlines year-round, Aaron Rodgers. There have been very few. They'll start on the ground. Hall. They'll get this to the 24, and it's second down. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. Throwing one incomplete. And that's an object game for being in this league for a long time. He's there in the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. And here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. Ooh, the juke. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. So that comes this offense to take over for the first time. Bringing them out is the number one overall pick this year, Heisman Trophy winner at Alabama, Bryce Young. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. From the 38 now, here comes second and eight. In motion left, that's Thielen. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Here now a third down and eight. Young. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And it'll be fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good, three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit. Sometimes better. it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play. Yeah. That too. <laughs> Throwing quickly to Wilson. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. First 
On first and ten, it's home. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two at the 41-yard line. On second down, a run with Hall. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. A four-yard pick up on the play. And the Virginia Beach, first down. Here's Rodgers. Wilson's got it complete. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. What can't Aaron Rodgers do? The legwork there, getting him the first. Facing second and short, that gives you a chance to go for a bigger play through the air. But I think he said to himself, why don't I just handle this one? Got all the yards you needed, and then some, and made that snap a huge success. Rodgers' throw here to be caught by Wilson. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Going right back to Wilson. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. And we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. Second and seven from the 20. Back to the ground with Hall. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And that is incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that'll make it 3-0 here in the first. Well, both teams kind of feeling each other out here, and now after three drives, we have a score with that field goal. Yeah, they're still waiting for their breakout drive to come to them, all right? They're using the playbook well. They're looking for that extra section that says touchdowns instead of field goals, but they'll take the three for now and try and get set up for more later. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They kind of get a look at them, get a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. If they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good start. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So that as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right? You're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. From the 46, here's second down and eight. A give up the middle. Hubbard. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Looking to throw, Young. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. And the Virginia Beach offense set to take over. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10.
Now Hall to start the drive. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight at the 22 yard line. To throw, it's Rodgers. He finds Randall Cobb with a completion. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that'll leave it with a third and two. They'll run with Hall. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. It's a pickup of six. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Now he's able to break through one tackle, but it slowed him down enough that he could only manage getting back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten at the 34-yard line. Now a play fake. Rodgers able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. Well, Charles, a tough task ahead for this defense, trying to slow down Aaron Rodgers. What would you be trying to do? I would think about selective pressure, Brandon. And what I mean by that is he's going to eat you up if you blitz him too often because he'll read that and go to the man coverage patterns. But every now and then you bring that pressure at him, make him deliver the ball on time. It's when he keeps the ball, maneuvers out of the pocket, and throws deep, that's when you're in big trouble. And yeah, that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Ball on to give up the middle. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Rodgers now to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. I'm not sure he falls under the category of mobile quarterback, but he's athletic enough that if you don't keep your rush lanes intact, he finds a way to hurt you. As coaches like to say, I wouldn't call him a burner, but enough there in the tank. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. A first throw for the backup, Wilson. And his throw here is incomplete. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it, trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. The working free to drop him for the sack there was Amari Bardo. This offense so far on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 16. That's caught. This is a band of Kanda. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27. No first down. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. So here's Greg Zerline now as he'll try for the field goal. He hit his first one. This from 44 yards out now. Zerline's kick is up and through. And they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. And I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Another run with Sanders. 
Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. The first down throw coming for Dalton. He's got his tight end. It's Tommy Trimble. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. How do you get much more balance than this? Big time run. Big time pass. A one-two combination looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Play fake. Here's Dalton. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. Two yards on the pickup there, and it's second down. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position is to actually utilize more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it, but he's a bigger, stronger guy, maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else would put in. Didn't get the big yardage or he might have a smaller back. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Dalton up, play action. That'll be caught by his tight end, Ian Thomas. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that'll bring up fourth down. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And they are on the board, trailing now 6-3. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. Well, the Virginia Beach offense set to take over. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns, you know? Maybe something to press it a little bit. This might be the case. On second down, Wilson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Here now, third and a yard. The give now to Abanakim. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. He lost two, and it brings up four. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped him, bringing up fourth down. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. game not in sync here early and now it's fourth down so on now is Johnny Hecker to punt this one away 
He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Fielded at about the 28. It'll be a 41-yard punt, give him five on the return. Well, the Virginia Beach offense set to take over. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still, they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. On first and 10, it's Wilson. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside. And they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline, you know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport stake. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. On third down, Wilson. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And touchdown. A great effort there. 69 yards. And the Dreadnoughts are able to widen their advantage. And he showcased his blazing speed on that one. Was he wearing football cleats or track spikes? <laughs> because he was gone. Big time play. And just think about what that does if you're a receiver on the team with him. Well, that's got to open things up for you as well. Because if I'm a defense, I've got to get back deeper and deeper in order to keep him in front. But I'm not sure how many can actually keep him in front with that speed. Zerline connects on the extra point, And his guys will take a 10-point lead. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. For the Buenos Aires offense back out now. They trail by 10, 13-3 as they come up on a first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame, get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. First down. Here's Dalton. Over the middle complete. It's Marshall. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. From the 42-yard line, here's the second and five. Andy Dalton. That's complete. Again, he's got Marshall. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Running right, here's Sanders. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. They work now on second and nine. Dalton now to pass. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep him off the scoreboard here. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. So a couple of first downs on this drive, but it's looking like another empty possession. And those empty possessions are certainly starting to pile up. So the adjustments that teams talk about all the time have to be taking place. They've got to analyze what's breaking down and figure a way to fix it. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. Well, the Virginia Beach offense set to take over. And yeah, they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. 
Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We remind you coming up at halftime. Charles, you want to wait to enhance your Saturday? I do. I know you do. I've got the thing just for you. It's the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando to take us through the weekend in the NFL. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Wilson. That's complete. It's Charles. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to bring up second down. six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 37-yard line. Wilson. And that is incomplete here. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there was no way that ball was going to be caught. Throwing again here, Wilson. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Troy Hill picks it. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. So the first thing that crossed my mind is why didn't they just sit on the lead and take it to the locker room? They're in good shape. Absolutely. And from this spot on the field, now you've given the other side a chance for points here going into intermission. Yeah, you changed the momentum of the game, and it's something you did not need to do. This offense back to work now late in this first half. And they start in the best of all positions. First and goal. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Miles Sanders taking it in from seven yards away. And the Antlers get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. And they can thank their defense for this one. They were set up with a short field following the turnover, but they took care of business as well, working their way down and finishing with a strong run into the end zone for their first touchdown of the game. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. And he puts it through there within three. It's 13 to 10. A nice tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position and only one play to score it. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Back out comes this offense now, late in this first half. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Now a second and 10. Brings up second and 10 at the 22 yard line. From the shotgun, Wilson. And they're not able to hook up there, incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Have they come through on this play and get the series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Third down, here's Abana Kanda. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. One final go for this offense here in this first half. With his slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. Dalton, first and 10. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. So we have reached halftime in our first preseason matchup of the year. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. Back to you guys in just a minute as we've started the countdown to opening night. Remember, the preseason has shrunk from four games down to three. So just two more weeks of preseason action follow this, and then we get it all started on the first Thursday 
after Labor Day. In our game, most of the starters have made their cameo and departed, but plenty of youngsters out there with a lot to gain or lose as we get you right back out to Brandon God. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Dalton throwing on second down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they'll be inside the red zone with a ball at the 16-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does, and I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame, and any time he didn't get rid of the ball within the, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Four yards there on the keeper, but still going to bring up a third down. There's Wilson. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. Well, partner, we know they came out of the locker room down on the scoreboard, but I will guarantee you the defensive side of the ball got super emotional. They can come out and play with aggressiveness, with fury, because they don't have to be quite as precise, and it paid off for them on that play, didn't it? Sure did. Excellent play, really setting the tone for this third quarter. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that extends their advantage to six. It's 16 to 10. So the fumble recovery had them set up in ideal field position, but they can muster only three points out of it. Yeah, when you're able to force turnovers, especially when it results in field position like they had, you really want to make it hurt. Here, they take the field goal. That's definitely not what they were hoping for. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And the Buenos Aires offense back out now. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when oh, yeah. they only gave up the field yeah. goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield and punch in the end zone without turning it over. Dalton's throw pulled in by Marshall. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. A gain of 13. It's a first down. First down. First and 10 at the 35 yard line. Here's Dalton. Targeting Thomas on the out route, making the catch. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Dalton again. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Marshall. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. 
Up the middle they go with Sanders. A solid stick on. And maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. 57 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Right back to Sanders on first down. A little second effort there on the strong run. And then drop just inside of the 20. Now second and three. And right side, they're going to go option here. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. They look to throw on third with Dalton. And that almost intercepted. Oh, they would have loved to have their first pick of the game right there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Now for the field goal try, here's Eddie Pinheiro. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. And he'll try and throw here on the fake. And this one will not work out. It is incomplete. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And as a result, possession switches hands. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. There's Wilson to throw. And that is incomplete. And when you're in a one-score game in the second half, now's not the time to force the football to persons where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. From the gun on third down, Wilson. That's caught. This is a bad of Canada. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And that's going to make it fourth down. They couldn't get anything going there out of the right side of the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And they will take over first and 10. Buenos Aires is about set for another try on offense. The first down throw coming for Dalton. Short throw there, caught by Thomas. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to, and maybe his rhythm confused, was just off? He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. A 39-yard punt, a return of five, and it will be first and ten as they take over. They'll begin on the ground here with a band of Canada. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. 
Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Throwing the out round incomplete. It's Charles. He'll go down as a gain of six. And they're going to face a third down. Now it's Wilson. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. And well done here. That one will kick out of bounds at about the eight-yard line. Buenos is about set for another try on offense. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. First and ten for Dalton. And that'll be taken in by Strong. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. He'll fight his man, LaVisca Chanel. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that will bring up second down. Second and five at the 34-yard line. Gets it quickly out to Marshall. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Play fake. Here's Dalton. That swung out wide to Sanders. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. Dalton off play action. He gets it to Thomas. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And now two yards to go on third down. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You're watching preseason football on EA Sports. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Here's Dalton. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That one good for seven as this long drive continues, and the chains move again. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he tries to keep the legs churning, but he's going to be stopped behind the line. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Picked off by Bryce Hall. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. First down, they start out with a band of Kanda. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Frankie Lugo. 
Second down and a yard. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. At the 30 now Wilson. Yard. And a quick throw here. That's complete. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. And the Virginia Beach first down. Abana Kanda on first and ten. And fights through one man. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. Now Wilson on first down. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now for getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Second and ten now, Wilson. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a halt. They'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Someone moved, flag is out, that's going to be five yards. And that'll drive coaches crazy. You work all week on dealing with loud crowds, on dealing with motion, and then you have a guy jump. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. On third down, Wilson. And this is going to be incomplete. The frustration evident there because he couldn't find anyone on third down, and he left no doubt that he was throwing that one around. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Well, the Buenos Aires offense back out now. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense. Gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone. It looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Now during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Boy, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. And we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. And he is caught, and he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one goes for 29 yards on third down. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Dalton, first and ten. Short throw to the tight end, Thomas. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up the second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Dalton sets up play action. Short throw hauled in by Trimble. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaking up. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. And this offense on third down today, not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This time they face a third and two. And looking for a lane, but none to be found for Sanders as they stop him short of the line to gain. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Oh, pardon him. That play brought back memories. Watching them string it out. Letting the runner get all the way to the sideline area, but not letting him get out of bounds. They formed that picket fence and didn't allow him through. Not only that, got him for a loss as well here. 
And one of the reasons they lead in the fourth quarter, plays like that. Yeah, took a little more time off the clock, making him do it that way, didn't he? And here's the Virginia Beach offense out and ready to go again. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. It's a loss of four on the first down play. But that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job. Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. That winds up pushing it back 11 yards on the save. And that'll bring up third. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Here is third and quite a ways. From the gun, it's Wilson. D.J. Johnson, he's the one to get him this time, and back-to-back -back sacks brings up fourth down. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. A 40-yard punt, no return. For the Buenos Aires offense back out now. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Off the play fake, Young. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback. So that's the right call there to just throw that one away. Here's Young from the shotgun. Finds his man on the out route. It's Chenault. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Young to throw it. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. So the pitch and catch good for 11. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. They go play action. Young. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the twenty. That'll go as a pickup of eight. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now Young. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Back to throw again. And he's going to go down. Sack back in the 24. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. On play action, Young escapes the sack. That's to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And the lead is back down to three here at 16-13. 
So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Now the Virginia Beach offense set to take over. Fourth quarter, they cling to a three-point lead after the field goal a moment ago. And it's certainly a very critical drive with still a good chunk of time remaining. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Wilson. Looking left side. He's got it complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 25 yards there on the catch and run. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. Throwing left side, it's complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's our visitors with the football as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he is going to have a first down here. And that should be the one that seals a victory. And they'll go again with a Banacanda. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. On the handoff, Abana Kanda. And brought it down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. This defense needs a big play in the worst way because so far, they're not putting up much of a fight. If they don't get a stop here soon, this game could be over for them. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Well, partner, it's just preseason, but it always feels good to be in victory formation, taking the knee for the W. Yeah, I've often thought to myself when I watch these preseason games, some teams need the wins more than others. You know, if you're established and you're used to winning, not quite the same. But if you're trying to learn how to win, it's important to get it done and to be able to kneel down at the end even better. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score. They get the victory. And that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.